Story time with Grandpa Ben. Darling, Sound of Music is on Channel 5 this evening. Yes, I know we have it on DVD, but watching it on telly is an entirely different experience. You have no sense of occasion. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, it's you again. Well, I've had, I've had a time trying to find a story that your grandmother would allow me to tell you. But I think I have found one. One with no drinking, no sex, and no poo. In other words, nothing that makes any of my stories remotely interesting. But for now, I think we will make do with the story of my, my cousin Jack. We were, we were playing a game, yes, yes. It was an old classic, one of our favourite games. It never had a name that stuck, but it was always some variation on drop from the top bunk. <laughs> The rules were simple. Find a double-decker bed, then spread your duvet and cushions on the floor to form a landing area. It's just like trampolining, only it's different. And it's scarier. <laughs> uh, the Moors and the Broughtons came together to share a death wish double-decker bed descent through the taunting, eager... Waiting air. A few ankles were twisted. Yes, we gained some bruises. But only the coward who refuses truly loses. And Jack, cousin Jack, little Jack Broughton, clambered up the ladder of the double-decker bed, looked down at the spread of softness below, placed his hands on the railing, leapt forward, let go. It was a good jump. A bold leap. A hefty hop. I won't impugn it. But he did slam his face into a metal shelving unit. <laughs> Running like the blood that gushed from his head, we up and fled. Someone summoned his mum, who summoned his dad, who bundled Jack into the car, which drove him away. Away from us. The lucky left behind us. Left in shock, we locked the bedroom door. We left his blood congealing on the off-white floor. We, the frightened, left behind us. Jack returned to find us, fearing for his life. We had borderline divided up his toys according to what we thought he would have wanted. But here he was, alive, with colourful stitches on his head. <laughs> Back from the brink, returned from the dead. <laughs> <sighs> Darling, must you sanitise all of my stories? Children enjoy violence. We were watching Saw yesterday. D no, there is no need to tell his parents. Let the boy have some fun, for goodness sake.